At last, we're at an element that you've probably heard of, tin. Tin is um, very common, at least in language, even if most people don't come into daily contact with it. Tin is used in many contexts when there is no actually actual tin around. There is tin foil, tin cans, and tin roofs, all of which don't contain any tin, and never did. Um, tin has come to mean basically just metal in a, in a very abstract way, and uh, many people don't even know that there is actually a specific, very specific metal that is tin. So, um, you've probably heard of tin soldiers, which uh, did actually contain some tin, although they usually also contained lead. Um, but I'm about to show you a pure piece of tin, right there, that is pure tin, that's not just a, a bunch of random metal, that is actual tin. Um, and so yeah, uh, tin actually has a very, very interesting property that limits its use in many different things. Um, the, the, what this property is, is that at cold temperatures um, below minus 13 degrees centigrade, it will actually start to have an allotropic change, meaning that there's no chemical reaction going on. It's just a physical process where the crystal structure, this is obviously, uh, you know, a metallic crystal, the crystal structure breaks down and becomes a amorphous powder. Um, and this came to be known as tin pest. I tried to uh, recreate it um, in, in the garage, and uh, I thought that would be a very cool video. What I did is I had a cooler full of dry ice, which is um, much, much far below the minus 13.7 uh, centigrade that is necessary for this to happen, and I left it in the cooler overnight. But in reality, it takes, it takes months to happen, and even though dry ice is about at negative 40 degrees centigrade, it still wasn't enough to get it go, to go overnight. So um, soon I'm going to try with liquid nitrogen, which is much, much colder, and that'll probably work. But I wanted to get a video out to you guys, so I just decided to do a video with tin and some explanation about tin, but no uh, experiments. So that'll be coming up pretty soon, I think. As a little bonus, because there is not going to be any video of me uh, doing the, the cool uh, tin pest video, I thought I would include a little bit of footage of me goofing around with the dry ice after I saw that, the, that my experiment didn't work. Have fun!